Hi guys, so today is going to be a video on my favorite products so far for 2020 and I've gathered quite a bit so I thought I'd share. So I'll start off with the cushions. So my first favorite is the Moonshot Micro Setting Fit Cushion in 301. This became my favorite right after the Correct Fit Cushion. The Correct Fit I loved and then I never stopped using it. And I totally forgot about this setting fit and then once I started using this, I just realized how good it was. Honestly, I've used it that much that the case is broken. I really like how it instantly settles into your skin and then it gives you that semi-matte finish. I think it's great for people with combo skin, oily skin, I think more so combo skin. But I think even dry skin people can use this. It's not heavy, that's I think the main thing. I also really like the Correct Fit EX. Um, the, which is the newer version, but that one I just didn't want to include because I didn't I feel like I didn't use it enough But yeah, this one I was definitely using way more I feel like I only have two cushion favorites So the next one is the Espoir Pro Taylor B Silk Cushion in tan I like this because of the shade. I think it's a good shade match on me It's also the cushion I have on right now Also the setting fit is a good color match on me as well, but I think this one does it better So the reason why I like this is because I was just really impressed with the finish it has like this velvety silky feel so the moment you put it on it feels so silky it kind of looks a little bit powdery plus velvety plus glowy as well so it has like a combination of three and I think the best thing is it makes your skin look smooth and I feel like it really evens everything out this one has a medium coverage but it's still very good you can still kind of build it up and yeah I like that blurring effect that this one gives as well. Next is a cleansing gel by Cioris. This is the day by day cleansing gel. I love the texture of this first of all. It's like a gel but it's like a jelly gel so it feels super bouncy on the skin and it feels so gentle and mild. I personally don't smell any fragrance in this and also with this what I like is it doesn't feel stripping on the skin so it just feels so mild and gentle that you just know that it's done the second part of the cleansing. It definitely won't get all the makeup off but if you have your first cleanser which is like a cleansing balm or a cleansing oil this is really really good. So next up is the Mugwort line from I'm From. So I really, really enjoyed using this product this year. The moment I started using this, I remember feeling like super refreshed, super clarifying, and it just calms down your skin, soothes your skin. The texture is very like jelly water. So when you do put it on, you can kind of feel a bit of moisturizing effect happening. So like this is something I look forward to putting on my face and I would definitely buy a, another bottle of this. And then we have the Mugwort Cream, which I, which is pretty much an empty, but I left a little bit just because I wanted to show like the texture. This one feels really creamy and like buttery and... Um, I don't know, something about this, it just feels really nice when it goes onto my skin. Same with the essence, but so yeah, really, really like these two. So next I have this Laneige Cream Skin Refiner and I couldn't use it for a while because I was like testing out other products and then once I started using this I realized how moisturizing it feels and what I really like is because for me I, I'm feeling more dry on my skin these days so having this really has helped put that moisture back into my skin and give that extra layer of hydration. It does have that film so like that, like you can feel that it's going to give that layer on your skin. If you have dry skin, I think you should definitely try this. Or if, if you feel like your moisturizer isn't doing enough for you, definitely try something like this just before it. It's I feel like this is like a toner plus essence plus moisturizer all in one. So it's really, really great. Next is the Dear Claire's Freshly Juiced Vitamin E Mask. So this one is so good. I really like the texture. It's like a pudding texture where you touch it and then it like bounces back, like deforms and then melts into your skin. So this is another product I couldn't use for a while because I was testing out, testing out other skincare items. But once I was done, I began using this and this was the only thing I was using differently and I could just instantly see a difference in my 
my skin. I feel like it for me it was very visible within the first few times I used this. My overall skin complexion looked better and I knew it was it had to be this. I just knew it. And so what this is is it has vitamin E, niacinamide. It's supposed to be really hydrating and also brightening. Um, it does feel a bit sticky once it does go on. Once it dries down, it's much better. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. It's so good and I really like everything about it. I like the texture. I like how hydrating it feels. Definitely one of my favorites. Sunscreens I have been loving is the Dear Claire Soft Airy UV Essence and I really love this because it feels so lightweight. I just like can't imagine someone not liking this product just because it doesn't even feel like a sunscreen. When you do put this, you just, it just feels like you're applying another thin moisturizer on your skin. Um, this is a chemical sunscreen. It just doesn't feel heavy or greasy or oily and it doesn't mess up with your makeup either. So I definitely reach for this pretty often. I do also have another sunscreen favorite which is the Abib Quick Sunstick Bar. I think I wasn't expecting much from this. I just thought sticks were so much more heavier for some reason and I thought it was going to be very very oily. So I was like eh, but I'll try it and this one surprised me so much because it's so silky on the skin like it goes on very thin. Once you do apply it, it does have like that slight greasy film but it's not like a bad greasy or like it's not like a bad oily feeling and also when you do start blending it in you'll you won't feel it anymore i like how it's very easy to apply just with like few swipes you already have it covered the feeling of this is nice and silky definitely no heaviness and i feel like it's very convenient to carry around if you don't wear makeup but and you need to reapply your sunscreen every few hours i feel like this is so good next up i have these lip products that i've been using quite often this year so the first one is the moonshot cream paint tint fit in 505 this is their orangey kind of like brownie orangey color it's so pretty this honestly feels so weightless when you put it on it like dries instantly on your lips as well and if it's like a nice semi matte finish and I just really like how it feels. I really like the color of this one as well. And then next is this Holika Holika Heart Crush Glow Tint Air in number 7 Hush. So the reason I like this is because it's quite of a different color from like other colors I own. This one is more of a tint gloss. It doesn't have the longest staying power but I just really like the color of this and I really like the glossy effect it gives. I've been definitely using this a lot. And then lastly I have the Pony Effect Powder Touch lip color in number 8. So this is more of a recent one. So this texture feels quite interesting. It feels very powdery plus silky. It's like a cream powder. And I feel like it does a good job at like filling in every single part of your lip crease. So yeah, I really like the color of this. I feel like this is very natural. It's very similar to my natural lip color. It doesn't look too different when I wear this, but it does give that enhanced feeling. This one is also not that strong in terms of like longevity, but I don't mind reapplying this and yeah, it just feels nice. Okay, so that was pretty much it for my 2020 favorites so far. Um, if you have any more questions, feel free to ask them below. I will answer them and yeah, I'll, I'll see you in the next one.